creating an Unreal Engine landscape in like six minutes. And here we go. Open Unreal Engine, go to the game on the left hand side and select blank level and hit create. Don't bother naming it because who the fuck cares? Enjoy this new level while you can because we're going up to the tops of file, selecting create new level and choosing the empty open world option. First thing we do is pretend we're God and add some lights. In the search bar on the far left, search for a directional light, a skylight, fog, and atmospheric sky. Drag them into the scene. Nice. We're 90% of the way done. Press shift two or on the top left of the editor, you'll see a drop down. Right now it'll say something like selection mode. Click that and choose landscape mode. The landscape editor will open. Hit the blue create button at the bottom. Nice. Now you can add level designer to your resume. Top right of the viewport, you'll see a camera icon. That's the camera speed. Set it to eight because you're a zoomer. Zoom out and get a good look of your map. On the left side, you'll see the sculpt tool. It looks like a knife. Click it. Then click your landscape and create mountains. Don't waste your time trying to make it look nice. You're about as creative as this tutorial. Once you have something that looks like garbage made, open the content browser at the bottom of your screen. Right click literally anywhere and select material. Name it literally anything, press enter and then double click it. Right click in the middle of the material graph and type in landscape layer blend. Select that first option. Once you have that node up, yes, that is a node. On the left hand side, you'll see a plus icon. If you can't find it, literally look at where I'm clicking. Press that a few times. Those will store the surface material options. Go back out to your map. You can just select the tab at the top of the editor. Towards the top, you'll see a box with a green plus on it. Click that and select Quixel Bridge. Once Quixel Bridge opens, you'll be able to search for surface materials to paint onto your landscape. To add them to your project, select them, hit download, and then the blue plus sign at the bottom right. Don't forget to add some rocks and grass so you can pretend you're actually creative. Close out of Quixel Bridge and go back to your material. On the left hand side, give each of your layers a descriptive name, then press control space to open your content browser. Find the surface materials you selected and choose the first one. You're going to multi-select the first and second square options. These are the texture and normal map. If you don't know what those are, don't worry. We're not here to learn. We're here for clout. Grab those two and drag them into your material graph. Don't worry about organization because you've never been organized in your life. But make sure to only link textures to the first layer blend node and normal maps to the second layer blend node. Now is a good time to let you know you'll need a second layer blend node. Just copy and paste it below. Continue to do that for all of your surface materials, save your project. Awesome, we're like 95% of the way done. Go back to your main editor and on the right hand side, you'll see the world outliner. You'll see an item called landscape with a small arrow to the left. Select that then below in the details pane, scroll until you see a landscape material. Open your content browser, find your newly engineered material and drag it into the square, save your project. If you're still in landscape mode, like you should be on the left hand side of the editor at the top, select the paint tab. Lower down, you should see a materials layer there. To the right of each material, see a little plus sign. Hit that, select your weighted blend, save it to anywhere, who cares? Do that for all of them. KK, now time for Picasso. Castle. Set your brush settings at the top left and paint the shit out of your landscape. Don't worry, you're going to impress the blue haired girl you like with this soon. Paint, 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 paint. Don't forget to choose each of the material options to really flex your skills. Time for foliage. You can hit shift three or just like we selected the landscape mode, hit the foliage mode. Your foliage might already be loaded there, but if not, find the mesh and drag it into the left hand side. Same thing here. We have brushes. The brushes have settings, max them, min them, whatever the blue hair girl would like. Add them. Time to move on. Grab some of your rock assets, super enlarge them and place them around the border of your map. If you didn't grab any, bruh, pay attention, but you can go back to Quixel Bridge anytime and find more. Make the scene extra emotional for extra clout points. We're 99% done. Time to pull out the big guns. If everything else fails getting you attention, this won't. Open up the Unreal Engine Marketplace. You can do this like normal or select the same cube with the green plus logo at the top left of the editor and hit Unreal Marketplace. Type in castle in the search box, select the free option because, well, you know why. I chose the Infinity Blade Asset Pack, download it. This is a good time to go throw your chicken nuggets in the oven if mom will let you. Once it's downloaded, add it to your project by selecting the massive add to project button. Find your project, select it. It's now in your project. Go to your content browser, find it and select overview environment pack. If you chose a different pack, first off, good for you, no one cares. But just find your castle, select control C, copy it, and then go back to your main map, control V and paste it. Don't even let it finish loading its textures, there's no time. 
Go back to your sculpt tool, add more land all around your castle. Holy shit, imagine the girl's face when she sees this. Select the directional light from your world outliner. Scroll down to the details panel to the light color. Make it super, super emo. Pink or purple works great here. Set it, move on. Get a good angle of the castle with the mountains in the back. Hit F11, take a screenshot. You're done. You're now a game developer. The last thing you need to do is open Discord, send her the photo, and tell her that you made it for her from scratch. She'll fall in love with you. Also tell her that you started a YouTube channel called Unreal Robin and that she should go subscribe. Alright, peace.